who was the hero in game one to 17 points, but only five of 16 shooting. Unbelievable. Let's go to Ali LaForce. Well, Brandon, congratulations on the win. 20 lead changes. I know losing Devin Booker from the Suns was huge, but you had controlled this game from the beginning differently than that first game. What was different for this team, and what did you adjust and change? We came out aggressive. You know, when they made a, that run, we stayed resilient. Um, we worried about our offense. We worried about being better on the defensive end, and we executed. We pushed the pace tonight, and we got the best shot on the floor every time down. I hate to tell you this, but you were one assist away from your first ever triple triple double. So we're going to have to see that later in the playoffs. But it just speaks to how well-rounded your game has become over the course of your career. How do you feel you are at right now on this stage entering game three of round one? Um, continue to get better. Each game that I come out here, continue to notice things on the floor, continue to get better. Um, my teammates help me out a lot, um, giving me the ball in the right spots and finishing whenever I give them the basketball. Um, we did a good, good job on the defensive end. Every time I come out here, they make me a better, a better player and a better person. So it's been, it's been good. It's great to hear how critical, just from a confidence perspective, getting that big win on the road, heading back home now. I mean, it's fun. It's my first time here, so um, we just continue to have fun, be loose, uh, lock into the game plan. We're going to go home and have some fans at home. It's going to be a good a good time at uh, Smoothie King Center. We'll see you in New Orleans. Congrats, Brandon. Thank you, thank you. They will be rocking in New Orleans. The Pelicans tonight shot 55%, hit 17 threes, 16 of 20 from the line, won the rebounding advantage by 10, and now they're plus 30 in rebounding in two games.